I'm going to tell you the story about my old, oh, my nearly junior year in high school. Now, I had a friend that had a, a Model A Ford, and he and I used to bang around in it all the time. And what had happened, the Niagara River started at Lake Ontario, or Lake Erie. And then the big ice, the ice would start breaking up in the lake. And then it flowed down the Niagara River and over Niagara Falls and continue on the Niagara River until it hit Lake Ontario. And then it would dissipate. Well, this particular year, which was uh, 1938, we used to go, we saw the ice. We go down there in the morning and see the ice building up. It didn't flow out to Lake Ontario. It kept building up at the bottom of Niagara Falls, deeper and deeper. Now at that time they had a, an arch bridge called the Honeymoon Bridge, which was spanning from uh, New York State to Canada. And that was a well-traveled bridge. Well, what happened, the ice kept building up and hit the lower part of, of the bridge where the foundations were and it kept twisting the steel. The pressure was so great from the ice, the steel kept twisting. And we go down there every morning to see how much further it was going. And we were down there one day, and I think it was about 10.30 in the morning. And all at once, we heard the creaking and banging, and we saw that whole bridge fall down into the gorge about 170 feet down. And it landed on the ice that was down there. It didn't sink, but it was broken up in sections like a, like a saw blade. And you could see the, 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 the lamp poles still sticking up in different directions. And boy, that, that, that uh, ice took that bridge right out of there. And they didn't build a new one until about 20 years later Luckily, they had a, a couple other bridges down the line, but uh, that was quite a quite a, a, a sensation at that time.